C-Helm, that acronym stands for Configurable Hybrid Electric Learning Module. And basically what we've done with that is, uh, as part of our hybrid uh, educational program, we've got a couple of certificates in hybrid engineering education. Um, one of the things that we found was that uh, there was a huge need out there for hands-on uh, education in hybrid vehicles. Um, something aside from the, the traditional lectures, something students could actually touch and feel um, in, 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 uh, feel firsthand in the physical sense. So we have had for now, for a couple of semesters, classes where we use production hybrid vehicles, which have been uh, donated to us by General Motors. And we've used those for education, and they've worked great, but we wanted to take that a step farther, and that's what we've done with the Sea Helm. One of the great things about Sea Helm is it's a configurable hybrid electric learning module, and that came out of the needs we saw when we taught when we taught some hybrid courses to the people at GM, Ford, and, and industry. We have an engine we can control. We have differential gear ratios we can change. We have, um, it's all programmable, so we can do torque blending. So this, this vehicle has everything on it that you would find in vehicle development centers at one of the big three. We could have four of these instead of one of the big ones. We're gonna take these to schools, let kids play with it. We're gonna put math in motion. We're going to show you what you can learn as an engineer. And then you can drive it. Driving's fun. You can compete. The Sea Helm has been uh, an internal project. It was uh, designed and put together by a group of Michigan Tech senior uh, capstone design students who did the uh, design and assembly work uh, and all the fabrication work on the, the project. And it was uh, very, very heavily supported by our industrial partners. I mean, th throughout, we couldn't have done it without them. Um, Kohler, donated the engine for us and as well as uh, engineering uh, knowledge on the engine and, and how to do the integration. Um, we got the entire control system donated from Woodward who gave us uh, the Mototron uh, controller and all the software needed to do the uh, calibration and controls development for that. Uh, we got uh, engineering support and uh, controller donated from Curtis Instruments. Um, and then a whole host of other industrial partners gave us very, very deep discounts and engineering support. Um, Halibrand uh, manufactures the rear axle in that vehicle, and they were instrumental in the project. Um, Polaris gave us the uh, CVT, the constant, uh, continuously variable transmission, uh, plus a ton of engineering support was given to us by Kohler. Um, and, and throughout the entire project, DND Motors was extremely helpful. Uh, Carter Brothers gave us a great discount on the chassis. Um, so it's been uh, very heavily supported by our industrial partners and, and designed and assembled by our Capstone Senior Design students. We have everything you'd find in a normal vehicle only scaled down and accessible and swappable. You can take parts off, put parts on. And we want more of the hands-on. We want people to be able to, to, to do the very same things on this that they have to do on their hybrid vehicle that they're going to be testing. Um, we are developing right now a mobile laboratory for hybrid education. Um, the laboratory is based on a semi-truck trailer and inside that trailer is going to be uh, two powertrain test cells. Um, so educationally the process would start with students doing simulation where they would simulate a hybrid vehicle. They would then do a hardware in the loop experiment where the entire powertrain of the hybrid vehicle would be in the test cells. They would be able to simulate the hybrid vehicle on the drive cycle that they just got done simulating. And then the final step is the Sea Helm. They would actually configure the Sea Helm to be the exact same configuration that they tested in the hardware in the loop test cell and also in the simulation. So it, it's an integral part of that overall hands-on educational experience. It allows the people that they've hired to come on board and be contributing to their, their bottom line. They can build a product and get it out and get it running much quicker. And so now you don't have to train people for a long time frame. You brought them in and they're ready to start working, not instantly, but you might show them where the coffee machine is, where the bathroom is, and they start to make you a profit. That's the kind of employers people want. And they're really solid in math, they're solid in physics, so they've got the hands-on stuff, they've worked on real things, they're not afraid to touch stuff, and they'll make you a profit. That's why industry wants them.